Hi, welcome to Myers ASMR. How are you? I hope you're well. It's so good to see you. I'm always glad to see you. Hey, find a way to be satisfied anyway. Find a way to be satisfied anyway. Even if you don't have exactly what you want, even if you're waiting for all these things to manifest, well, that's how you get there. By being satisfied with what you do have. And look what I got, which I'm so satisfied with. This granola, I don't know if you can see it too well, but I love granola so much. And I just added a few Concord grapes. so much stuff in here. They're cashews and pumpkin seeds. I mean, the texture is amazing. This is so hearty. I mean, there's just so much chewing. I think it's the raisins. never had such a hard in and filling granola before I mean there's just so much to chew through spilling milk on my keyboard.
is a workout. Gonna remove the raisins when I see them because they're hard to chew. Yeah, that's better. I love crunching these pumpkin seeds. raisins in here. Too hard to avoid the raisins. Why are they so crunchy? Some people drink the milk. I don't do that because I'm really not even supposed to be eating milk. But this one is 1%. Yeah, 
fermented foods are supposed to be good for you, so... I heard it's best to use real milk if you're gonna ferment milk like as opposed to soy milk or almond milk, I don't know. Who knows, who knows if you can ferment almond milk. Cause if you can, I'll start using that. You like my hair? It's a wig I made. I just left out my edges so it could blend in. And then I used the wand to curl it just for the camera. I wouldn't have gone out the house with it curled like this. I would have curled it differently, but I'm just learning how to work with the wand and the wig. And I already know I'm not going to curl it this way again. But it looks cute on camera. You can't see the back, so. did do the whole thing. Ooh. A piece of dried hibiscus leaf. <clears throat> I put that in my tea a lot of times. Hey, now it's time for getting better and better every way and every day with the help of this people skills book. I just love these self-help books. It's been a while since I've read from this one. Let's see where we are. <clears throat> We're on the listening skills chapter and he's talking about psychological attention. What a person wants, most of all from a listener, is a sense of psychological presence. He wants the listener to really be there for him. Physical attending fosters psychological presence. When I am in a good environmental setting, I have comfortable eye contact, appropriate body motion, and maintain the posture of involvement, my psychological attending usually improves. My physical attending skill also helps the other feel my psychological presence. However, if I try to fake attention when listening to another, I deceive only myself. The listener who is truly present to another displays a vitality that registers on face and body. His interest and concern for what the other is saying. The person who is not really there even though his body takes an attending position, is inevitably detected. The speaker notes the glazed eyes, and his antenna picks up other signals that reveal that the listener's heart and mind are not with him. Without psychological presence, no attending technique will work. Consciously working at attending. Surprisingly, we find that most people have a fairly accurate and formal knowledge of attending before we teach them any attending skills. In our seminars, the trainer often says, position yourselves to show me that you are really interested in what I am saying. Most people in the group assume a fairly good attending position. Then the leader says, show me by your body posture that you couldn't care less about me or about what I am telling you. Virtually everyone demonstrates a clear idea of what non-attending behavior is like. So why do we make such an effort to teach attending skills? There are basically two reasons. First of all, because the teaching of these skills does sharpen understanding of attending. People raise to the level of their awareness and understandings that were previously vague and hazy. People invariably learn something new and or develop a deepened insight into what they already knew. 
Secondly, and more important, we find that a focus on the methods and merits of attending motivates many people to do what they already know how to do, but often neglect to do. A focus on attending serves as a consciousness-raising experience that often motivates people to utilize these skills. Once people start attending at appropriate times, they are rewarded by a new quality of interpersonal relationships. Alan Ivey puts it this way. Some may question the possible artificiality of attending behavior or other skills. They validly object to seeing life as a series of exercises in which the individual constantly dredges into a handbag of skills so he can adapt to each life situation. Our experience has been that individuals may sometimes begin attending in an artificial, deliberate manner. However, once attending has been initiated, the person to whom one is listening tends to become more animated and thus in turn reinforces the attender who very quickly forgets about attending deliberately and soon attends naturally. A variety of our clients and trainees have engaged in conscious attending behavior only to find themselves so interested in the person with whom they are talking that they lose themselves in the other. People tend to think of communication as a verbal process. Students of communication are convinced that most communication is nonverbal. The most qu commonly quoted estimate based on research is that 85% of our communication is nonverbal. So, attending the nonverbal part of listening is a basic building block of the listening process. I think that's a good place to leave off. Let me go back to the quote that I started with. Okay, there it is. Find a way to be satisfied anyway. Find a way to be satisfied anyway. Whether you have exactly what you want, what you've been asking for, satisfaction with where you are, with what you have right now is the way to get to where you want to go. Is the way is the way to get what you want. Find a way to be satisfied anyway. Hey, if you like what I'm doing here, like and subscribe, donate to the cause. Catch me in the next video and may you find lasting happiness.